Hey guys, this is Monyo and I'm bringing you another game from a replay that Boo sent me and this time it's Boo as the Red Zerg up here <coughs> against 6-2 um, as the Blue Terran in the right hand position and I think this is the second time they played because I've already casted a game between these two guys on this same map only last time they were in the bottom positions in well, in the bottom position and the left position but they were still close by air so this time they're close by air again but the top positions instead so it'll be interesting to see whether this goes the same way as last time and at the moment they're just having a little chat a bit about um, some strategies talking about Hellions plays that some of the pros have made in the GSL and stuff like Cool who ended up winning congratulations I'm a bit of a surprise to see his egg win but um, so we've got standard openings at the moment and in the previous game we saw I'm going to spoil it a tiny bit but we saw Boo go I think 15 hatch and it was a standard opening from 6-2 and Boo scattered him with his overlord and it's not too bad to go um, 15 hatch on this map because there's a reasonable distance by ground obviously it's better if you've got cross position to the Zerg because they've got more chance to expand but it's a bit hit and miss really and um, what the Zerg can do quite easily because they've got cheap little lings is to stick one on the Zerg like a watch tower and watch for any incoming Terran push and we've got a standard barracks coming up on 12 I think that was for 6-2 but he's not decided to use that barracks to wall off particularly well Although he might be leaving a bit of a gap here to get a tech lab or a reactor, probably going to be a tech lab. He might go Reapers or he might get a Hellion and go for Blue Flame, although it might be a bit early on the tech lab for that because he's not not going to have too much chance of getting a particularly early factory out with his gas only just coming up. And yep, we've got a 14, uh, 15 hatch sorry, from Boo up here. And he's not got his pull down yet, although they'll probably come up in a few seconds. And Boo's complaining about Banshees again, and I think that happened last game as well because another bit of a spoiler, there were some Banshees in the previous game between these two guys um, so 6 has got his gas up, he's getting his orbital command, standard timings got the pull coming down from Boo and it'll be interesting to see whether he decides to get some speedlings for some early defence or whether he's gonna skip speedlings he's got his gas coming up so we'll probably see some speedlings just in case there's any kind of early pressure from the Terran and so far there's no um, tech lab or reactor on the barracks so you might be waiting to get some gas for a factory, put the factory down and then get a tech lab or reactor on that barracks with some Hellions and put on some early Hellion pressure, yep we can see the factories just going down now here and I'll just hit the units tab um, both on about even drones, still nothing apart from drones except for two Zerglings that are coming out now for a boo and he's getting his queen now that the spawning pool's finished so he's just got the one gas and at the moment he's not got enough for metabolic boost so I'll have to see whether he gets 100 gas or he decides to get that or not but I wouldn't be surprised to see him just get some um, speed on the zerglings and the zerglings aren't particularly effective against hellions obviously but if you can get a decent surround off which you might be able to do then he might be able to take him down without suffering too much damage and we've got an early expansion coming off the 6-2 he's not going to go for a 1-1-1 one, one, one build he's just going to go for some reactor hellions no blue flame upgrade on those and he'll probably pump out one Hellion and then switch them over when the reactor finishes oh wait sorry the reactor just about to finish it went down ages ago oh what am I talking about um, yeah, so he's switching that over and he's going to pump out two Hellions and then probably put some early pressure on this expansion over here and if Boo can get um, just hit the units tab he's got one Queen out and he's got another Queen coming out so two Queens should be able to deal with a couple of Hellion pressure and he'll have to see if Boo decides to get some the spine crawlers down to defend against that Hellion pressure or whether he's just gonna get some roaches out in fact so it'll probably be roach queen defense against these hellions and we got a, we do have a spine crawler coming down now in the natural and he's got an overlord here just hanging around seeing if there's anything funny going on a couple of links down here just in case um, 6-2 decides to do anything funny so that spine crawler may just about finish before the hellions arrive but the queen should be able to hold him off for a tiny bit and the other queen's just sitting up here at the main not coming down to help defend but the queen should be able to hold off most of this pressure when this for when this um, spine crawler arrives to manage to check out both hellions and we've got some roaches out now so they're easily going to be able to deal with it although he does manage to kill two drones which is pretty unfortunate for Boo because obviously you don't want to lose any drones but it's not a very effective trade losing two drones against two hellions plus 200 minerals against 100 minerals and it looks like we've got an armory coming down so we're probably going to see the factory switch over here with the barracks and then he might get a some Thors and we've got another factory coming out and another barracks going down so it looks like he's going to go off two bases he's going to get some Thors and some Marines to support those so he's got three barracks coming down now 
and if we look at the unit counting station we've got two queens, four roaches against two marines and one hellion but at the moment Boost is going to hang back and keep pumping up his econ which is slightly behind due to the mule advantage although he's got six more harvesters and it looks like yeah we've got the mule here and I think these roaches, yep, they just put a bit of pressure on and now they're stopping that um, command center from landing although these marines and marauders are going to try and beat them but they're probably not going to do it and boo if he might go, oh no, 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 he's not really doing very well there at all and he just ran away without firing for a whole lot of time and he's just going to lose all these roaches to these marines and marauders and I'm not, didn't even manage to kill a single one, both these marauders 5 HP on one marauder, 5 HP on the other marauder and the two marines are completely fine and boo's a little upset about that but Basically that was all down to his poor micro just chasing that marauder which was wandering away rather than shooting at the marauder and the marines that were sat around. <laughs> 6 apologising for microing his units a bit there. And Booth's asking how many HP there were. It was still 5, one hit would have killed both of those marauders but he just didn't manage to get it off. And we've got all the gas here for Boo and spires just started to build so he's going to get a spire and we've got a bunker coming down now for 6-2 which is fairly standard because you can always recycle that bunker for all the minerals back anyway just in case so it does decide to put some pressure on and with those two heavily damaged marauders they'll be able to sit in the bunker and yep there we go both the damaged marauders go in the bunker just so they can stay alive for a bit longer and we've got this barracks coming onto the reacted barracks coming onto the reactor yeah so we're going to have um, probably marines marauder and some thors coming out although he's only got one factory producing thors at the moment so it's a bit unnecessary to get that factory as early as he did. And um, Boo's got Lings and Overlords produced, yeah, sorry, positioned all around the map just to see what's going on. And take the units tab, we've got no roaches, we've just got 22 Lings which would be quite effective against the force if they can get a decent surround off. So I'll have to see if um, 6-2 decides to bring any SCVs when he moves those doors out and he's just positioning them in his mineral lines because he's presumably spot to spy but he's presumably expecting that there might be some mutilists coming eventually so it's good to have the Thor positioned just in the mineral line because one you can defend the mineral line with the Thor and two you've got the SUVs nearby so they can repair as necessary and just check the production tab we've got eight mutilists being produced and we've got stim upgrading, Terran vehicles weapon one upgrading, starport coming down so that's probably going to be for um, a medevac which might be used for either for some Thor drops into Boo's main who's getting an expansion now up in his third or it might be used to do some marine drops or just to support the marina marauder army and he's making decent use of his mills, he's getting another command center down so he's going to expand again and these lings just coming in to test the water, see what's going on in this base he's going to see that, that expansion is coming down, he's killed the SUV so it's going to delay it ever so slightly but it's not going to be too much of a disadvantage because he can just pull another SUV quickly here and Boo's doing pretty well at covering this half of the map and he's got his mutas flying around here and we'll have to see if they manage to do anything in this base which they might not because Thor still got this Thor near the mineral line and he's not micro those very effectively so they're taking splash damage from the Thor but he's done a pretty decent job and we're very poor from 6-2 not pulling his STDs really quickly enough and he's going to be able to do a lot of damage here although he might be able to just repair this other, other Thor with these SCVs but he's taken down a fair few SCVs and he's stopped mining up at his main and you can see he's got a 14 drone advantage over the SUVs at the moment and now he's attacking down here where there aren't any Thors and there's only a few Marines so he should be able to take those Marines if he decides to try and focus on them I'm taking down quite a few SUVs once those Marines are down unless this Thor moves down no he's moving the SUVs back up to be protected by the Thor and he's taking down all those Marines he stopped mining and he's going to stop produ production on this other CC again and we've got the Thor coming out now he's just going to run away he's done quite a bit of damage there stopped mining for quite a bit taking down at least a dozen SCVs and managed to drone up at the same time while doing that and I'm not sure he's lost many of those mutilists at all and he's got another expansion coming down here for a fourth base and just got his ling sticking at home and a hatchery going up in his main so obviously he wants a bit more lava so he's getting a safe hatchery up in his main so they can produce more lava without having to worry too much about microing all his queens and at the moment interestingly enough um, 60 is feeling a bit pressured he's using this extra CC to produce more SCVs to make up for all the ones he lost to that mutilus carath rather than getting an orbital command which is what you might expect when the CC is just finished and he's coming in again with these mutilus and they're going to attack two fours and they might not be able to do quite so much damage and they've taken quite a lot of hits so we've got a lot of these mutilus in the red and in the orange so they might want to run back to base and see if they can get healed up a bit by the queens if there's any transfuse or no there's only two queens out so I won't want to waste too much on transfuse 
<coughs> so they're just going to have to sit around, wait to get some healing up. And we've got a Thor in the mineral line over here. We've got a couple of Thors down here and a Thor down here. So he's got four Thors. He's got, and it'll be interesting to see what Boo manages to do to go up against these Thors. Whether he'll decide to get some more roaches. He's got ten out at the moment and he's got the twenty-one lings. But if you surround the Thor with SCVs to repair it, then those lings are pretty ineffective. And six twos decide to go slightly risky in some ways and try and get the gold expansion and he's got this Thor just running around on its own completely and if Boo got these lings and got them all together and decided to attack this Thor he might be able to take it down pretty easily because there's absolutely no SUV spot anywhere in sight for this Thor and it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere so mutalisks, lings, anything could take it down but it looks like he's okay he's gonna build some missile turrets to defend this gold expansion because he's quite afraid of that Middle of and he's going to get a planetary fortress instead of going for the obstacle command. So he's being pretty defensive here rather than trying to go fairly economic. Because what a kind of maybe more confident, maybe sillier player might do would be to get an orbital command there. But obviously, he wants the defensive capability of the planetary fortress and that forward expansion. And we see Boo coming just to the right, ooh, just slightly too late. And one of these turrets is already up, so he decided not to take too much damage. But he's going to be able to attack from this angle here, and he's going to be able to do even more damage to the SCVs. And if you check the income tab, 69 against 39 harvesters. And even though that gold's down, he's not got any workers there yet. Although you'd expect him to be. I think there were some mules just coming down, so he's almost got enough energy for another mule here. So yeah, he's started to get mules on that gold rather than using them anywhere else, because obviously that's the most effective way to use them. And he's just got these middle lists hovering around, and you can see booze. Mineral income still way, way in the lead of 6-2 and his gas income, so Boo's definitely got a massive, massive income advantage. And if you check the production tab, he's got missile attacks coming up, so he's going to keep stick with the mutalisks. He's got, oh, I think that's speed and more queens coming out and getting some ground carapace, getting some infestors out. So he's getting pretty much better of everything. He's getting the ultraist cavern down, and we've got um, vehicle weapons level 2 coming up, so he's a 62s are upgrading those Thor, so they'll be more effective against the Mutalisk. And we've got some Banelings here coming in, trying to destroy SCVs, but they're not doing a very good job of it, and it's getting eaten up by that Planetary Fortress. So the Orbital Command, I mean, sorry, the Planetary Fortress here, already in yellow, so it might be interesting to see whether um, 62 decides he wants to try and repair that a bit before Boo comes in with any attack, because obviously, with a slightly damaged Planetary Fortress, it's going to be easier to take down. And normally, people complain all the time about the fact that you can just repair the Planetary Fortress to the SCVs almost infinitely, and it'll just stay alive forever and ever and ever. But if it's already in yellow, then it's going to be slightly easier for Boo to take down if he does decide to attack. Well, one criticism I would make at the moment is there's not much creep spread between all these bases of Boo, so he's not been using his queens to put down creep tumors, not been spreading the creep very effectively, and oh, it looks like we've got a push coming in, and he's. Looks like it's kind of almost one control group syndrome from 6 2 here. He's got his medevacs way, way ahead of the rest of the main army, which is completely unnecessary and just poor control of his army. And good use of the infestors. And it looks like all this army is going to be absolutely destroyed by these roaches and these infestors and loads and loads of infested Terrans just to destroy any of the air, all the medevacs. And these roaches just absolutely going to town on these stores, everything out. And even though Boo's lost quite a bit of army. He's got all these middle left, there's absolutely no anti-air, and these stores are just going to get eaten up by the middle list, and he should be able to go in for a counter-attack now. He might want to push and try and take out this natural expansion, which is pretty much undefended, apart from a couple of missile turrets. But instead, he's just going to sit back. He's brought out a few drones, in fact, to go along with the army, take some hits. And if we look at the income tab, it's 77 against 58 harvesters. Income's still better for Boo, even with that gold expansion, even with the mules, which he isn't using at the moment. He's got quite a bit of energy on both of these command centers, so he could bring down three mules. And we've got another base coming up for boost, so he's going to really take this economic lead. And if we look at the unit tab, he's just got a few queens, a few roaches left, quite a few lings, three infestors, and nine ultralists being produced. So that's pretty much. That should do enough damage to pretty much end this game, you would think, if he manages to use them right. Although, if we look at the unit tab again, we've got three marauders, one Thor, two marines, and three medevacs. And the income's pretty much evened up now, thanks to the mules being used finally on that um, gold expansion. But with the economic lead that Boo's taking now, five bases nearly. Um, his main's nearly mined out, but that's not too much of a problem because obviously 62's my main is mined out as well. And three Thors now out against nine Middleisks. I mean, sorry, Middleisks, nine Ultralisks. A um, bunch of Lings, a bunch of Bane Lings, Investors. So basically, Boo can do a bit of everything, and if he micros this well, he could even neuroparasite all the Thors, use the Ultras to take out the rest of the army, and use the Thors to take out the rest of the army as well, and then just go to town on the Thors once the neuroparasites.